Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, the 6th of October, we're off to Nottingham, a really competitive, typical end of season cards. Pretty big fields, good to soft ground at the moment. There is rain around, perhaps it'll ease a bit further. We start off with our value angle selection in the 230. This is the RacingTV.com Phillies Handicap, a mile six contest, class four, three year olds and upwards, £4,860 on offer to the winner. Nine runners have been attracted. I think that John and Tady Gosden's Philly Future is the one to side with here. Now she's relatively fresh, which can count for plenty at this stage of the season. Gosden continues to be in terrific form, six winners in the last 14 days. This Philly got off the mark at Windsor on the 2nd of August over in mile two heavily supported in a fair little novice stakes and asserting for strong pressure from Oisin Murphy to get the bit better of the fast and the curious. Next time out at Yarmouth up to nearly a mile four finished a creditable third behind Jasmine Joy from an opening mark of 76. If you watch the run back well this filly looked a real stayer um, she was under pressure a long way out. It's a long straight at Yarmouth and she was under the cosh three furlongs out but she stayed on one pace really throughout the closing stages taking third right on the post and really shaping as though a step up to mile six will definitely suit her. She's a Galileo filly. I don't think she'll mind softer ground. She handled Chelmsford okay first time out when green as grass and it might even suit her in fact. Kieran Fallon's book there's lots more improvement in the tank as her stamina's drawn out and I'm pretty confident and she'll go close. For our nap of the day, we go to the 155. This is the British Stallion Studs EBF Novice Stakes. Six furlongs, 18 yard, class five for two-year-olds only, £3,780 on offer to the winner. 11 runners, there's one or two lurkers who could improve, but for me, Eldrick Jones finally got his act together when winning at the seventh attempt at Pontefract last time out, and I'm going to stick with him to defy a penalty all round with the cheek pieces on. Now, he was 13 to 2 on at Pontefract. He made quite hard work for it, but he was well on top at the finish. Some of his earlier form at York behind Le Sale, and let's go back to Goodwood in a group two back in July. He was beaten five and three quarter lengths by the Ark. Uh, Sunday's winner, Angel Blue, who won at the Ark meeting. That, crucially, was on soft ground, and I think probably on the figures. That's Eldrick Jones's best run. He's not 100% straightforward, and I suspect because of that, you're going to get a bigger price than you should be on form. Ben Curtis is well aware of all his quirks, and I think with the cheek pieces on, he can defy a penalty and win again. Best of luck on Wednesday, betting experts. Thank you.